record. Okay. Can you people, can you still see my screen? Yes. Okay, you can see the forex calendar, right? Hello. Oh, I muted, I muted myself. Yes, I can see. I can see the calendar. Okay. okay. So good evening, everybody. Good morning, wherever you're tuning in from. You're welcome to this week's FX review for the 28th to 1st of October, 2023. So without taking so much of your time, let's get down to uh, fundamental news for next week. So looking into next week, we seem to have a lot of high impact dollar news coming in. Um, seem to have a lot of high impact non ADP non farm employment change. Then we have non farm payroll on Friday, so this week is going to be very interesting for the dollar. So, with that out of the way, let's get down to what we have going into the new week. So, we're going to start off with um, NASDAQ. So, looking at the NASDAQ. On the weekly, this order flow still seems slightly bullish. Still seems slightly bullish, but short term, it's still bearish. Short term, we're looking at the bearish move to the downside. But price has found support of this um, um, bullish fair value gap. If we look at this now on the four-hour time frame, going into the new week, there's a possibility we might see a continue a corrective continuation because price has made a new high on during last week's move, closing above this. Although other flow is still to the downside, but there's a possibility going into this new week, price may be gone in for any of these fair value gaps if. It is to continue to the downside. If price is to continue to the downside, probably targeting this daily fair value gap. But for now, going into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we might see a rally rallying up into this. this. Because if you look at this, there's a tiny fair value gap here. There's an imbalance here. As you can see, price didn't close below it which means that it's still acting as support and might propel price to fill in any of these options here, any of these imbalances here, before if it will continue to the downside. But we must take into cognizance these two bullish other block locations here on the four-hour. So that might serve as, if they are left intact Monday, Tuesday, then we might still see a corrective rally up into this fair value gap if they get broken to hold, if they fail to repel price, then we'll be looking at this high, then this high here for the um, US 100. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the dollar index. The dollar index is still clearly bullish. It's still clearly bullish. And I believe it may be running for 104.69. It's short term, it's still running for this high. I believe it wants to pick out this high. So going into the new week, if we look at this on the four-hour time frame, the possibility is, is that this may retrace. If it is to go for that high, if it is to go for 104.69, although there's still a monthly high at 104.50, it should not rally straight. If it's to continue higher, it should retrace a bit retrace a bit, then gone for the upside. But if it rallies up first and takes out this high, then that means we might see it drop because you know that Friday is non-farm payroll. So we just need to be careful of that. But for dollar index, it's still bullish. Might be gone in for 104.50 to 104.69. So with that knowledge, if we look at the Euro USD, the Euro USD is still tilting to the downside found support of this bullish four hour fair value gap here. As you can see, found support of that. But if we look at this pair from the daily point of view, there is a bullish order block here that price 
is still sitting above, still holding as support. If we extend this, we can see that price came pretty close to the 50% of this and bounce. So going into next week, this is still down. This is still bearish. There's no mistake about it. We might see a little bit of a retracement, probably for this high at 108.42 or this fair value gap before a continuation back to the downside. The dollar index is still tilted to the downside. It's still bearish, but we might see a bit of a retracement because given where the dollar is, should the dollar retrace down, this is going to rally. So that's it for the Euro USD. The next one we're going to be looking at is the GBP USD. This other flow on this pair is still bearish. Let's look at it from the weekly. Other flow on this pair is still bearish. It has closed below this weekly fair value gap. If we move up to the daily time frame, we can see that it has swept 125.91 and it's now sitting within this daily bullish order blocker. So there's a possibility we might see a retracement before a continuation to the downside. As you can see, the daily candle closed very far from its loose, slightly far from its loose. So going into the new week, we might see a bit of a retracement probably into this before a continuation back to the downside because we don't have any new high yet on this pair. So this pair, any rallies on this pair might just be an opportunity to continue to the downside. So that's it. And if it's going to continue to the downside, you have all this imbalance here as possible drawn liquidity before 124.87. That's for the GBP USD. Other flow on this is still to the downside. Any rally on it would be an opportunity for a short. The next one we're going to be looking at is gold. Gold has broken out of its range. Gold has broken out of its range. That was between um nineteen o three fifty one to eighteen eighty five o eight, and if we look at it, it it created a dealing range on the four hour between this low to this high, tested the fifty percent and bounced. Although long term, this is still to the downside. We are looking at a possible corrective move on gold going into the new week so looking at this as long as price stays above this range range high here we might see something like this maybe something like this then a rally if it starts to rally you'll be looking at this high here or this bearish because this is a bearish order block this is a very short block. So you'll be looking at price going in for this. But where price is now, price is going to retrace a bit. Then you look for bullish opportunities. But on the other hand, the possibility exists that price may still dip into the midpoint of this range. Because um, if you deal with range, that's what you call range expansion. When you have a price range from this point to this point, most times when price breaks out of the range, it does that same range projection. And if you look at gold, that came out at 121. And if you look at, if you notice price has not closed above that level, that has been rejecting price. So there's a possibility this may retrace, then continue higher. Then if it is to continue higher, You'll be looking at, um, like I said, this very short block. If it gets taken out this high, I'm probably 1933.99. That's going into the new week for its status. The next thing we're going to look at is EuroGBP. EuroGBP, as we can clearly see, we have a bearish breaker on the far. Other flow is still tilted to the downside, but short them. We might see a bullish run on this pair going into the new week.
the possibility exists that price may still come down into this breaker. That's what we'll be looking for going into the new week. A retracement down here. Once it gives support, we have all these um, fair value gaps here. And if that holds our support, then you'll be looking for any of these highs or any of these imbalances as price, as um, support location for targets for price. If you extend this here, we can see that price is at the 50% of this entire dealing range. So it may retrace a bit, then continue the correction to the upside. But as long as price stays below 86.69, this pair is still to the downside. That's it for Euro GBP. The next we're going to look at is GBP CHA. Well, this pair, uh, I thought he broke out of his range. Thought he broke out of his range. But it didn't. So this pair is basically still trying to till to the downside. Still basically in that his range. No major change yet. No major change yet. Excuse me. Let me look at this. It's supposed to be the weekly. This a down candle. Although this fair value gap price has closed above it. So if we're going to the four hour time frame. We'll be watching to see if this low, the possibility is that price may sweep this low. That is a given. The possibility is that it might sweep this low and then rally towards this fair value gap. Because if you look at this, although other flow on this pair is still to the downside, it has made a new high. So this might just be a retracement for a possible higher move on the GBP. CHF. So the next one we're going to look at is pound yen. Looking at this pair, we have a breakout on this pair. Other flow on this pair, long term is still bullish. Well, as you can see, two weeks pin bars to the top from a weekly um bearish other block and structure point here. Let me look at it from the monthly. And see, we have a bit of a structure point here. This last down up candle before this move, as from this high to this point, as a bearish other block, see, price rallied into it and rejected. So on the weekly, we have two pin bars to the upside. If we look at the daily, we already have a change in market structure here. It's clearer on the four hour time frame. See a change in character here. So going into this new week, if this is to continue lower, it should not drop first. I prefer it rally first into this area, fill it up, then start seeking these um, fair value gaps, this low or probably any of these lows here. So going into this new week on the GBP pound yen, this pair has a slight tilt to the downside because of this breaker here. So we expect to be looking to sell into rallies on this pair. The next pair we're going to be looking at is Euro yen. Same view as this. This is clearer because it broke this, this. So also a breaker setup. So for this pair, because Euro GBP is stronger, because Euro is stronger against the um, British pound, if you notice, that's why if you look at this, this didn't rally. This didn't rally. But if you look at the Euro Yen, The Euro Yen did rally. The Euro Yen did rally. And it might still feel, still rally high. As long as the Euro strength remains, this might still rally up into this area. But we should be well aware that this is still bullish. This is just a corrective move. This is still bullish. This is just a corrective move. So 
compare that with the dollar pound yen you can see why the other has made a if you look at the other pairs They made new highs before dropping. The dollar yen did not. So I believe the dollar yen might be trying to make his new high, then follow suit with the other pair. So that's just basically it for this week. So any questions? Any questions or any anybody want me to look at before we call it the night? Hello? No question. Okay. So, any other person? Anybody with any other question? Or any pair you want me to look at before we call it a night? So, nobody else. So, the recording will be posted on YouTube. So, don't forget to like and share the videos. So, I wish everybody a beautiful night's sleep, lovely weekend, and a wonderful trading week ahead. So, good night, everybody. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you.